Hello everybody, Rev Rick here with Broadman Baptist Church. This is the Broadman Word for October 19th, 2020. I want to talk to you today about something interesting called the paradox of grace. You know, by calling you to die daily, the gospel welcomes you to life eternally. Contrary to popular opinion, death really is the portal to life. It is one of the biggest principles and the greatest paradox probably of grace. From a distance, it doesn't make any sense that you can't understand God's work of grace in your life if you don't face this paradox. It is clearly presented to us in the words of Jesus Christ in the Gospel of Luke. And I'm going to read it to you from Luke chapter 9, verses 23 to 27 as an illustration of what we're talking about here from the word of God. And he said to all, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it. Whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. For what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses or forfeits himself? Whoever is ashamed of me and my words of him Will the Son of Man be ashamed when he comes in his glory and the glory of the Father and of the holy angels? I tell you truly, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see the kingdom of God. So you see, uh, in the words of Jesus, death leads to life. Something seems unusual, not right about this, but it is right makes perfect sense when you face the reality that you and I cannot live for ourselves and God at the same time. This is just not possible. We cannot live for his kingdom, our kingdoms. We cannot write our own rules and submit to his rules. We cannot pride ourselves on our own dependent righteousness and submit to his or cast ourselves upon his righteousness at the same time. We cannot live for his glory and our glory at the same time. We cannot love the world in our hearts and love him above all else at the same time. We cannot insert ourselves in the center of our lives and have God at the center at the same time. It doesn't work that way. There's only one center and there's only room for one thing in there, and that should be God. You see, the difficulty comes when people don't understand that coming to Jesus is not a negotiation. Coming to Jesus is not an agreement. Coming to Jesus is not a contract. Coming to Jesus is a death, your death. He died so that you may live. Now he asks you to lose your life so that you may find life in him, only him. This is critical. If anybody is not willing to lose their life, put their old self to death and arise, live in the spirit as part of Jesus Christ, then you cannot understand grace. You cannot be truly um, in salvation. So, um, he has to call you to die because you are in the way of you having life. It's our pride and our rebellion and our independence, our foolishness and our denial that stands in the way of his offer of life. We tell ourselves that we're okay, we pretend that our sin isn't really sin, we deny the evil in our lives, and sometimes we act if we're as smarter than God. We like our little kingdoms more than we like to love his kingdom. And we sometimes think that his rules are better than our rules. If someone is not going to come along and rescue us from our delusions about our lives, we will lose our lives permanently. In presiding over our deaths, grace gives us life, real, abundant, true, and eternal life. So we shouldn't fight the death of our old self. Instead, 
should celebrate this new life. It's ours. It's ours by grace and grace alone, and it should be celebrated. And remember that our Savior is going to continue to call us to die because that is the way of true life, eternal life. I hope you're able to come to terms with this paradox and truly live out its meaning because without it, it's going to impede your walk with Christ and your eternal rewards. If you want to dive into some further study on this, John chapter 12, verses 23 through 26 would be a great place to look. For now, I love you. I hope you have a great day. And pray, pray, pray. The devil doesn't like it when you pray. Take care.